are with our next round of dishes for 221. And here we have our organic salmon. It's a Norwegian salmon. And we're serving that with black rice, also known as forbidden rice and some cauliflower, as well as some watercress coulis, and some red misuzuki, which is a, um, which is a tofu-based sauce, which is, we just love. Uh, we like to cook this with the crispy skin, and we're gonna cook it medium unless otherwise specified. And yeah, it's, and it's organic, which we really love. Next, we have our bison short rib, which is another really great seller. It's wonderful if someone says, I'm really hungry, I ski it all day, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling really, really hungry. This is the dish. Um, and so it, we sous vide the bison for two days after brining it for a day. So it takes a very long time to put this dish together. And we're serving that with a goji berry and pepita, um, pickled goji berry, or goji berry and pepita jam. And the goji berry is also known as a wolf berry. It's indigenous to the Himalayan mountains and it's known to help people acclimate better uh, as it brings more oxygen to your blood. That's, that's what I hear. And we're doing that with a little bit of uh, acorn squash and some cauliflower. Without well. butter or, or gluten because it has soy in it. Um, and we sous vide it for two days with uh, butter and soy. The salmon is so moist with a nice crisp skin on it. It brings out a very umami flavor. The sauce is earthy and really kind of like breaks through and everything works really well together. Yeah, miso sauce definitely has that umami salty component, the watercress, uh, kind of that more vegetable or vegetal uh, herbaceous type flavors. Salmon has a nice medium fattiness, um, and mild texture. And rice is lightly crunchy, a little homey. We'll say the salmon is perfectly cooked. It's very moist. Uh, the forbidden rice complements very well. Uh, the acid comes through with the radicchio, complements very well. And the earthiness of the cauliflower. Well, the bison is so tender, it just falls apart on your fork and melts in your mouth. Um, it's got a certain sweetness to it, this one from the berry. The, uh, the squash and the cauliflower really kind of make it this hearty meal that it's just fantastic. Yeah, I would agree with that. For the, the rib being such a tough cut tradition, like the two day braising process really turns into this amazingly tender uh, cut. And you know, accompanied by the root vegetable, and kind of nice pairing there. And the goji berries do have a nice, light, sweet um, acidity. Definitely feel the uh, the goji berries coming through. Um, I'm able to use this with a knife, butter knife, so nice and tender. The aging really does make a huge difference. In and if some people who've never had bison short ribs say that it's not as tender as beef short ribs, just remind them that bison is a lot leaner, and that's the reason why it's not going to be as tender as the beef. Okay.